I initially thought I was going to say that there was a, a juvenile and, and a male. But it's not, actually. It's two males, which is very interesting to witness. Could well be the previous year's offspring. One of my favourite things about our yellow-bolt hornbill is the way that they run when they're on the ground. So unlike most of the birds that we get out here, although they've got the three forward-facing toes and one backward-facing toe, the difference in a hornbill is the outer two toes are fused or partially fused together. And it just provides them with a little bit of extra stability. But it's interesting that they have evolved to have that toe facing toes and the one backward facing toe. It's interesting that they have evolved that level of foot structure. The other bird that we've already spoken about this morning that has a very similar foot structure is that is the oxpecker. The oxpecker it makes complete sense because it provides them with a little bit of extra stability when they're sitting horizontally on something like a buffalo. 